Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, get out of my way, man. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right. Good way to start. About a two pound fish, but you can't beat a topwater bite like that. You cannot. He gave himself away. Hey, I'm Pete Ponds. We're back on the river. Last week we caught them on bridge pilings and creek channels. Let's see what we can find this week. This situation right here is just a little bit different. We've got current blowing up against the outside bend in the river, and I decided to fish because it's got a bunch of big logs laying right up against there. <laughs> I tell you what, he hit it just as soon as I pulled it up over the log. I actually saw him hit it. Tell you what, hey, that's a pretty spot, isn't he? Look at, look at the details on that fish. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> the river's running in right up against this bank. We've got a lot of logs piled up against here, and everywhere there's a Y, it seems like there's a fish. That's a nice spotted bass. Oh, look here. <laughs> Another one right by that log. That's three we've caught right here on this thing. We've kind of got a little pattern going here. Let's see what else this river has to offer. I mean, we've got a lot, of, a lot of rocks right here. Riprap, big boulders. And those big boulders are high enough to where we still have a current break coming across them. A lot of times you can catch them on a crankbait in that situation on a river. Look at here. <laughs> that looks like a little smallmouth. I believe it is. You know, he just came just on that riprap, just like we were talking about. As we're going down through here, this riprap has little points all over it. Those fish are hiding behind those points. Should be a bass laying right on the back side of that. Look at here. Oh, another one. He was laying right behind that little wall there where we talked about. Caught a small mouth and a spotted bass, almost on back-to-back -back cast. Oh, yeah. And he's probably laying right, right behind one of those rocks where that eddy was. The key on this river has been current. Anytime you have a break in that current, you have slack water, that bass is sitting there waiting on that bait or the shad to come by. You can throw your lure in there, same thing. Man, he's gonna smoke it anytime you do that. I'm Pete Ponds, good luck fishing. My favorite lure by far is a jig. The biggest fish I ever caught, we got a giant mako shark that my brother and I actually hooked together all the way to the boat, probably 600 pounds. I probably liked to most fish with either of my grandfathers because they died when I was young and they were big fishermen and I heard a lot of stories but never did get to fish with them. I'm Dave Wolak and you're on the edge. There he is. Yeah, yes. buddy. What kind of fancy stuff are you putting on now? Not tell. We got him. Nice. 